been fighting the urge for cargo pants for quite a while because I can't quite decide if I'm being pulled in by them because of the novelty of them or if I actually truly do love them. The other thing I can't decide, is it just nostalgia? You know, cause I am a nineties kid, meaning I wasn't born in the nineties. I was born in the eighties, but I grew up in the nineties. The cargo pants were very prevalent in those younger years. So is it that I'm trying to kind of pull in a bit of my youth? Or is it that I'm trying to incorporate a bit of utility edge into my now sophisticated style? Sophisticated meaning like older, like I'm much older now than I was in the 90s. <laughs> but alas, I think the 90s kid in me has won. Yes, I've finally broken down and purchased a pair of cargo pants. Yeah, but these ones are a little bit more interesting than just your run of the mill you know, neighborhood friendly cargo pants. So is it just a nostalgic impulse or will these add edge to my classic style? I don't know. I do love a good challenge though. So that's fun. Let's go pick up these new pair of cargo pants from Nordstrom. from last week's episode. Uh, I did end up returning the Anina Bing carry pant. Basically, it was just the seam. There were some seams that I didn't like where the se certain seams were hitting me. Only a trained psychologist could figure out what is going on in this brain at this point. So I returned those and I came across these uh, from Vince. They are a cargo pant. However, this is a special cargo pant because these are combined with a sort of tailored pant. Uh, before we go on, I should probably try them on because if they don't look good, then none of this matters. So first things first, yeah. could not be happier than I am with the fit of these pants. It's like the first time in a very long time that sort of like my fantasy has met up with my reality, if that makes sense. Where you purchase it, you sort of visualize how it's gonna look on yourself and how it's gonna look with other pieces in your wardrobe. And you go through all these different scenarios of your life and how they're gonna work within your life. You know? No? Just me? Okay. I think the other true test of fantasy to reality is how are they going to function in your normal day to day?
the fantasy has not been fully made reality yet because I need to see how effortless these will pair with the already existing things within my wardrobe because that is a true test. So let's see what we got. Yeah. So something I didn't return from last week is my Reformation uh, bodysuit. No. The inner ego has been awoken by this, you know, tastefully sexy. Love the contrast of the masculine pant with the overly feminine top. I think then to just add in a bit of texture, a bit of warmth, and just a little bit more interest, uh, we'll layer on top this Quince European linen uh, button-up shirt. Um, I need shoes. I say we keep this outfit feeling breezy, so let's add in a pair of Bergen socks. Yeah. Give me that cheddar, we can Rico. Big money rolls like burritos. Give me that hot sauce, no pico. Give me that, give me that. Give me my slippers, comb me my mosa. My limousine and my show fast. I think then if we want, we can take this from casual to a little bit more sophisticated or a little bit more everyday. Maybe it's your daytime outfit into your evening outfit just by simply changing out the linen shirt for You could just keep the Birkenstocks and keep it kind of like that, just sort of that elevated casual feel. If you're going somewhere, you need to pump it up a notch. Give me that casa next to Jeff Bezos. Jacuzzi in no de pesos. Keep pulling that till I say so. Give me that. Give me that. So then we've got a good balance of your masculine and feminine. I don't know, I'm feeling good so far. Yeah. You gotta make sure it goes with your go to pieces. And this is, as you all know, one of my go to pieces has that sophisticated style mood, yet can be styled in a casual, sort of breezy, effortless way. So it can kind of be manipulated into whatever you really need it to be. I think just to sandwich the look with some feminine sophistication, we're just gonna add in my Tory Burch moccasin loafer. Uh, I love these as well because it's kind of got that casualness of the moccasin, but then it has a little bit of luxe. So in itself, again, a bit of a contrasting piece, which I think then elevates. So I think the true test of any good statement piece or investment piece is how does it elevate your basics? I think the crop boxy fit is definitely a good contrast because it then still accentuates the hips, the lower hips, which I think just adds like a little feminine touch. So I think with this, I just want to embrace the kind of casualness and youthfulness of this outfit with a pair of CDG Play Converse. I think it's just classic, but with like a little understated bit of edge. So in the end, do I feel like these are a novelty sort of nostalgic impulse? Or do I feel like these are going to contribute to the edgy, contrast of my wardrobe. Well, I'm gonna go with all of the above. Give me that.